Huh? Princess and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. <laughs> Why, Joe? Why all of a sudden do you keep quiet? Because you turned on the video. <laughs> How do you know it's on? It's not because really on. You're like... Oh, I just extended my hand. Okay, no, now I'm gonna put it on see? now. <laughs> I couldn't trick you. No, huh? Oh, you can see it from the... <laughs> okay. I cannot trick you. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Morning. It, morning. It's a Monday morning. Monday morning, September 24. Oh, is it 25 already? No. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't check. Oh. Maybe I got the wrong, maybe I got the wrong gospel for the day. <laughs> anyway, anyway, never mind. We'll see. The gospel we have today is from St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 16 to 18. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand, okay? so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even that which he seems to have will be taken away. So that's a very short gospel, but loaded, really loaded with meaning. And I want to go uh, comment on this by <clears throat> by commenting on the fr on the <clears throat> line towards the end. To anyone who has, more will be given. To anyone who already has. Isn't that ironic? Right? If you already have much, why would you be given more? And though and, and those 